Hi, I'm Janelyn Marcello with Breezeway Productions. We're here at the Movie Guide Awards on the red carpet and we are honoring faith-based and friendly family movies. So today we'll be talking with Dolly Parton, Kevin Sorbo, um, Ernie Hudson. So stay tuned for more. How excited are you ladies about tonight? Well, we're very excited. We were honored and proud that we got nominated for some awards. So we hope we might win. And even if we don't, we feel like winners. This was such a wonderful project for us to do. So positive and uplifting. I got to meet so many wonderful special kids like this one. She's going to grow up to do wonderful things. I was just very proud and honored the way she did my part. So she made me look awfully good. Last question. I grew up watching you and I know you're a leader in the faith. How have you been able to stay grounded in your faith throughout this whole um, craziness that's called Hollywood? Well, I just grew up believing in God and believing that through God all things are possible. My mom, I never felt I had to deny who I was to get something done. In fact, I always called on God for everything I have done. And I really, uh, you know, I, I'm a very spiritual person. I, I really give God the glory. So where have you seen God move in your in your life, like where it's led your career? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. I've always been a Christian, but I never... I didn't like on purpose say I'm gonna do I'm gonna do faith-based movies only. But six years ago I got approached by Dallas Jenkins, who's Jerry Jenkins' son. Jerry Jenkins wrote all the Left Behind books, and he said, "Look, I got this script, and I'd like you to read it." And so I read it, and I said, "I love it. What are you doing with it?" Well, I'm putting out a couple of actors to play the lead, and I said, "Well, I want to play the lead." He goes, "You'd be interested in doing this?" And I said, "Yeah." He goes, "But there's no money in it. There's we got a low budget and all that." And I said, "I don't care. It's great." Do you have advice for actors that are uh, that are Christian that are coming up here in Hollywood and? How can they use Hollywood as a platform for ministry? Well, I think the biggest thing is to, to try to surround themselves with like-minded people. I mean, they're out there, but you know, it's interesting. It's like people have to be afraid to come out of the Christian closet in a way in Hollywood, which is strange to me. So uh, to me, it's just, you know, be yourself. Stay true to what you want to do in your life. You're gonna, there are going to be parts that are going to come your way that you maybe don't want to do. And it, whether you want to talk to somebody about that within, within the production company that's doing that movie to say you want to change things or just walk away, that's your choice. You know, there's a lot of pressure in this business. And uh, I think you just got to stick to your guns. And how important is the Movie Guide Awards to our industry? I think it's very important because I think, first of all, the kinds of films and television shows they honor are what's really popular. I mean, at the end of the day, this is not a fringe organization and, or a a fringe kind of event appealing to just a certain cross-section of people. We're talking about family-friendly films and television, and you know, they do phenomenally well. All you have to do is look at box office returns uh, on this kind of entertainment and see that it's 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 very prominent and, and prevalent, and so it should be have a night like this. As far as your career throughout Hollywood, are there any moments that you've had where it was just really hard and you just saw God just take you out of that situation? I think anytime you uh, reach a point when you panic, and we all do, we're human, when it looks impossible, when we've done everything we know to do, and you just want to just give in, it's good to know that there is God, that there is a place you can go to and know that everything is going to be fine. And when I let go and let God, as they say, things always work out. But it takes a little bit of, of um, knowing that and trusting that. And um, it's never failed. It kind of, when I get into it and try to control it, it gets a little messed up. But when I just, just do all I can do and turn the rest over to him, it's, I'm, I'm fine. Do you have advice for people, especially in the faith too, like how can they stay stay grounded in, in their faith while being in Hollywood as a producer? Well, I think if, if the work that they're doing, I mean, I, I, I produce, I also direct, I also write the script or co-write the script. So for me, it's a passion project. And if you're doing projects that you believe in, that you think have a message or a mission to them that will connect with people, it's not work. It's 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 a joy. How have you seen God move through your life now you're in Hollywood and you know, your star is definitely rising? How do you stay grounded? I literally, if you go on my website, it's the first thing it says pray big. Because for me, staying connected is through prayer. 
constant every day. Sometimes I'll be in my car praying and people probably think I'm talking to myself or crazy, but <laughs> I'm really talking to God. Yeah. But it's really just staying connected. And it's much like um, if you kind of went you know, away from your parents and didn't check in with them or call them when you turn 18 and you move on, you go to college, you know, they're going to be sad. You're not going to have that intimate relationship. And so I really feel like that's what God wants is for us to just check in. Sometimes, you know, it's, hey, where are you? What are you doing? Or, you know, I love you. Or, you know, just a simple sentence is, uh, goes a long way. And there you have it. We had an awesome night talking to all the celebrities. We got to talk with Dolly Parton. We got to talk with just some amazing um, stars and, and executive producers. And now you guys get to see what it's like behind the scenes and what it takes to have an event like this. So thank you so much. And we look forward to talking to you soon.